Well, welcome back to Kemper Arena here in Kansas City, Missouri, as the uh, Budweiser U.S. Hot Rod Truck and Tractor Pull Winter Nationals continue. You know, I've seen this truck run probably 200 times, and I would drive several hundred miles to watch it run any day of the week. It's that exciting. This is the most exciting four-wheel drive vehicle ever built. This is the four-wheel drive vehicle. This is the Budweiser Boss. Tell me about it, Mike. Gary Collins, El Dorado Springs, Missouri. Two Keith Black Hemis setting crankshaft to crankshaft. There's his helper, Ray, rolling the slack out of it. You saw him hold up four fingers there, making sure Gary's got it in four-wheel drive before he leaves with the sled. Blowers are turning. This is a walk in the park for Gary Collins. You watch the weight box as he goes down the track. sure he was gonna stop he was probably running 45 miles an hour at mid track with the boss and i mean he never oh. never mashed the motors that hard a walk in the park and a picnic all in one for gary collins and the budweiser boss that and the crowd is standing standing that is one awesome piece of machinery you're right boy I've I knew Gary knew what he was doing, but I wasn't so sure sitting up here. Watch him, he's going to drive right into your couch. <laughs> Gary Collins, Budweiser boss, he sets the tires ablaze. And look at him go, about half track, he's still hooking up. Just, and Gary sees it, well, I've already done everything I need to do. He backs out of the throttle ever so gently, shutting down right before that big board sign on the end. You know, that thing, is the sign has got to look five miles wide when yeah. you're going at it at 40 miles an hour. Yep. Look at, look at how close he came to the end. Well, Gary has driven the truck since it was brand new. He built the truck he, himself, and he knows the capabilities of the truck. Got a pretty good idea of what it's going to do when it shuts down. He's just awesome. We have seen the trucks stand by for the tractors. You heard a tractor pulling. That's what we're going to get tonight. A lot of times you don't see tractors at big events. This is a big event. It's got the tractors. 7,200 pound modified dragster tractors and you are looking at one of the toughest in the nation. They're set to 1,710 cubic inch Allison aircraft engine. They're both on alcohol. They're both fuel injected. That is Wayne Longnecker out of Cambridge, Iowa. He is a veteran puller that goes back 15 years or better. What are the flares now? What's happening? Why do we see those little flames coming up? It's excess alcohol coming out of the engine. They're alcohol burners, and he's burning off some excess fuel. When it comes out into the atmosphere, it'll ignite. It's just burning off gases. Got you. This is the River Rat. It is one. I mean, you do not plow the North 40 with that thing. This is strictly competition. 48 spark plugs. Now, this engine was designed in the 30s. They've told him to shut it down. There's a red light on the sled. They've told him to shut the tractor down. It's some kind of a malfunction somewhere. And Wayne does an excellent job. He shuts the motor down immediately. Mike, I think we may have to send out for another six pack. That <laughs> Bud Boss shook these cans so hard, they may be ready to pop the top. Well, I believe they're a little foamy. They're gonna have to get up and <laughs> reposition them. Uh, uh, Gary hooked up so well, went so fast, they actually vibrated off to the side. They shut down the tractor so they could realign the, the Budweiser six-pack and, and tie it back down to the top of the sled. My goodness. Well, Wayne fires the motors, and we're just about ready to go with the River Rat. Wayne Longnecker out of Cambridge, Iowa. Two V-12 Allison aircraft engines. They were designed in the early 30s, and they are modern technology today. There's overhead valves, there's two intakes, two exhaust valves per cylinder, there's two magnetos on it, firing 24 spark plugs. Watch it work. Tires are lit. Wow. That is a full pull, oh. no doubt about it. And Wayne actually watched and drove by. He was not stopped. He backed out of it. Wow. That was fury, and it's still spitting fire. 
That was one whale of a pull. And now, they both hooked up this time. Watch the tires. Both of the tires are going to hook this time. He's probably got about a 90 mile an hour tire speed. He's actually growing the tires. He's spinning them to fast. He picks the front end up just right. He's patting the ground a couple of times. He's got a right, the rate transfer perfect on it. Now watch this. He goes and he's watching the flagman. I'm not backing right there. We'll just shut it down. That's a pro. It is a pro, and that's a beautiful run. Let me tell you, that's no rat. That's a thoroughbred. Wayne Longnecker with a 2.11.4 for a first pull is a pretty decent mark to try and match. We'll be right back for the Winter Nationals in just a moment. We're in Kansas City, Missouri, and this is the Kemper Arena. We are at the Winter Nationals truck and tractor pull. We are right smack dab in the middle of the tractor competition. Ron Washkow is the next one up in Top Gun. His wife is Carol. This is not only a sport, it's an emotional roller coaster. She not only has a husband who pulls, she has a son who pulls. It's a family affair. And Mike Galloway is right in the middle of it. I'm with another one of the ladies of pulling. And that's Carol Washkow out of Iowa. And Carol, you're involved in a, a much different way. You have a husband and a son competing against each other. That's right. I'm myself and my daughter are the chief scrubbers, you might say, the shiners, the gophers, and they do all the driving. Now, how long have you been involved with it? How long have you and your husband traveled? Oh, we started probably about 20 years ago, um, you know, just in county fair level, and he's just worked his way up to being a professional puller, you might say. Your son taken over one of the older tractors about a year ago? Yeah, he's been pulling for a year now, and he's been doing real good with it. He really likes the sport. Of course, he can't help but it. He's been raised tractor pulling, so it's in his blood, definitely. He turns the tires hard and leaves like a rocket. And I think he set it out of bounds. Yeah, I was going to say, a heck of a pull, and you can still see some of that alcohol burning off. But as Mike mentioned, he may have hit the chalk line on the far side and came real close to some of those uh, four-wheel drive vehicles. He drifted to the left-hand side, and he wanted to stay off the brakes just as long as possible. Right there is where it starts hard. He's got the tires cut, sets it down, but it doesn't stay down long enough to keep him off of it. Now, right there, you see the official behind. It looks like he took off his cap and marked it, and that's where it went out of bounds. We'll, we'll see what happens. Well, they're going to have to wait and get an official ruling. It looks like he may have kept it in bounds. If he did, it's a heck of a pull, I'll tell you that. Well, the top gun tonight wasn't Tom Cruise. It was Ron Washkow out of Iowa Falls, Iowa, with a pull of 205 feet and one eighth inch, and that's good enough to move him into second place. Well, there's Ron discussing it with one of the other drivers. He kept it inbounds. From our vantage point, it looked like he might have drifted out, but the official right there on top of it, he said everything was all right. And there's Ron, his wife, his young daughter, and his son. So they're all getting ready to pull their second tractor. And we move on to the Persuader. 19-year-old Troy Warshkow, his father, driving the twin Allison. Troy making a charge on it. He's pumping up the brakes, making sure they're just right. As the front end comes up, that'll be the only way he has to control it. Brings the power up and hammers it. It's right. I'm telling you, Troy making a great pass. Mike, the force of the Persuader so intense that it literally is bringing down the house. Troy, a very good run going all the way down, getting all the power he can get out of it, but look to the right-hand side of the screen as the box comes up and top. There it is. Yep. A ceiling tile has been dislodged from its resting place by the force of the exhaust out of the Persuader. Wow. That falling from the roof here of the Kemper Arena a lightweight ceiling tile blown free by the force of the persuader and there is where it uh, rested 